There's a passage in the canon where a nun has been coming out of the woods near Savati after having spent the day there trying to meditate, not being very successful. And she comes across an elephant and its trainer. And the trainer is saying to the elephant, okay, give me your foot. The elephant extends its foot. The trainer gets up on the sole of the elephant's foot and then climbs up on the back of the elephant. And the nun took that as a lesson. Even common animals can be trained. Here she is, a human being. Why can't she train her mind? Of course, there is a difference. The elephant didn't train itself. We have to train ourselves. But we are trainable. As the Buddha said, he came to train those fit to be trained, fit to be tamed. And he said, if it weren't the case that people could abandon unskillful habits, and if it weren't the case that they would benefit from that, they wouldn't have taught them to abandon unskillful habits. And if they weren't able to develop skillful ones in their place and benefit from that, he wouldn't have taught that either. So when you come across a voice in the mind that says, well, I'm just the way I am, and we have to live with it, and other people have to live with it. Remember, you're placing yourself outside of the range of the Buddha's teachings. His teachings are for people who can be tamed. In other words, people who can change their habits. So never let that voice have any authority in your mind. The voice that says, well, I'm just the way I am, I'm going to have to stay the way I am. If you're going to identify with any voices in the mind, identify with the ones that are willing and able to learn, that are happy to learn. The ones that say, yes, I can change my ways. And that puts you back in the range of the people that the Buddha would teach. So the choice is yours. As the Buddha said, it's a wise person who sees that the mind should be trained and will benefit from it, realizing that as you train the mind, you will have to change your ways. But they can be changed. Think for a minute about how many different types of beings you've been. We don't have to say all throughout samsara, but just for the last hundred lifetimes. You've been all kinds of things. So why not make yourself into something better than you are right now? <laughs>